Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I am here with the last video for this week and the last video for my Kaleidos week. I'm going to see the studio light, is that better like that? I don't know. I've done a little bit new things, maybe I'll look a little bit shorter than I usually am or I don't know. But okay, today I am using this Sashimi City Palette. So Futurism 7 and the palette looks like this and this also came smashed this shadow and this one I pressed them down it was not a problem at all So yeah, this is the most neutral palette and I don't know how it feels to like end the whole week with the most neutral palette But this is number seven and I want to do them in order so I'm doing this so I will just get started. So I will prime my eyes. Here is my eyeshadow primer. And just get started with this seventh, the last look. And also, <laughs> when I did my first impression with this palette, in I tested a whole new Fresh Fantasy collection, I had a t-shirt with sushi on. And you seem to love this shirt. <laughs> and I actually have another sushi shirt on me today. It doesn't show for you, but it is sushi on it. It's maybe a little bit more like gory than the other one, but I love it. So you aren't going to see it, but now you know it's there. So yeah, I think we just hop into this last part. So for today's look, I'm doing something so, so simple. I am going to do a neutral look. And now I actually don't know because I want to do a cut crease and uh, so I want to take just some really dark brown out here and then cut my crease and take one of the shimmers and really like have it super super intense but I don't know which browns I want to take like is it bad when you can't decide which brown color you want to take I don't know I'm going to start with this shade and take it in my whole crease and I actually have a mirror right in front of me and that's why I wanted to make something new with my setup. I will have to see when I edit this how this really looks. I think it's always so hard when you like do something and you only see in the viewfinder and it is so hard to like tell if it is good or not. So <laughs> we have to just wait and see. Maybe I think this is better and I will start doing this setup, I don't know. But right now this is so much easier and I have like some glitters here I don't know why because I haven't worn makeup for like two days so where the hell do you come from and then I think I will go in with this one I can't remember which shade I swatched and it felt the best with so I think I'm going in with this one and I'm going to take it do I might want to take it like in my crease as well? I actually think I want to do that. So I'm going to... What is she doing now? Okay, first I almost closed the door. And then she wanted to get in. So, so she opened the door. And then she closed it. And now she wants to go out. She... <laughs> yeah, she used her face. Like pushed it through the door. I'm going to take the shade and with a smaller blending brush, tapping it off a little bit and just deepen down my crease. Maybe I don't have to tap it off. And I'm, so, I'm so used to only use the mirror in the palette, so I want to do like this all the time and then I remember I have a perfectly good mirror right in front of me. I don't know how deep I want it, but kind of deep. I think though this is enough. The thing is, if you have watched some of my videos, you might have noticed that 
color is my thing and not neutral, but I actually like brown eyeshadows and some browns, they really like surprise me. Like this one, I think this is a really nice shade. I don't love brown eyeshadow though, but it's like I really like this one. And it's now I don't know which one of the shimmers I want to take. I'm gonna swatch them. One has like a more greenish duochrome and one has a pinkish. Maybe I can swatch them on my hand instead. So I don't know if you can see. So the one on the bottom is the green one and the other one is of course the pink. So like this they look pretty like alike, but here you can see that one is green and one is pink. And I don't know which way I want to go. I actually think I want to go with the green one. So I will find my glitter primer, find my Pepsi. Look where Astrid is. Find a clean brush. And I'm going to cut my crease. And I have hooded eyes. And I just cut. I do not use any of these like... Close my eyes and so on. I have done some cut creases in my life and I know kind of where I want them. So like this and then I'm going to do something that I usually don't do but that I know a lot of people do. Like tap the edge so it blends in a little bit better to the mat. And then I'm going in with this duochrome and I go with the one that is the green. and not the pink. I don't actually know if these are duochrome but I think so. Like never asking me for anything what the shadow is. Because I never know. And I'm always like this when I do some kind of cut crease. I'm like, I don't like the sharp edge here, but that is the cut crease. That is the cut crease, but I don't know what I like it, but I like this. Okay, I think I just want it like this, and now I have some fallouts on this. I think I'm just going in a little bit with the brown one, I stiff it in a little bit and just take it here. Don't know how much of a dish different it makes. Okay, like this. I really do like this. Maybe I could have cut my crease a little bit higher, but I like this. So I'm going to cut the other one. I don't think I need to do that on camera. So I will cut my other crease, do the same thing to this eye, fix my base and my brows and then I come back and we do the under eyes and then I am done with this whole week and I think I might... Okay, I really love this. I think I might going to do like a recap, talk a little bit about the palettes, just like a review of the Futurism palettes from Kaleidos. So yeah, <laughs> I will fix this and then go back. It's time for my under eyes and I think I just want to go in with this shade that I had in my crease and I might deepen it down with something. I <laughs> will see. Right now I don't know if I need it. Maybe just a little bit later on. Later on. 
might just a little bit. We'll see. And I'm thinking about if I want to do something in my inner corner or not. But I haven't decided yet. I might just take a little bit of the shimmer that I have on my lid and just take my pinky and press it there. Okay, I think I want to take the one that I had out here just to deepen it down a little bit. Out here. So, and oh. <laughs> So, and I actually think that is all for the eyeshadow, so I will take something in my wash line, choose a lip, or do I want something? Okay, I take something in my corner. I take the shade that I had on my lid, and just take a little bit on my pink, and just press it here. And I said this, I think it was in yesterday's video, that I really like to do this if I don't want like a strong inner corner because I think this looks more natural in one way and it don't look so it isn't that intense and sometimes I actually don't want it to be too intense so I will put on mascara something in my wash line and take a lippy and then I'm actually done with this seven day long week <laughs> kaleidos week so this is finished look for my waterline i took color pops extra frosting i think it's called yes and for my lips i took a combo today again i took the lip tonic in immersion this is my absolute favorite and i took the lucid lip in hypnotize and glosses isn't my favorite thing to wear here in the world but I like it. So I am going into reviewing the palettes because this is the last uh, look I'm going to do for this week and I think I am going to talk about all the six, seven palettes even though only six is available. And I thought that I can like tell you what I like the most with each of the palettes. So I don't have anywhere to put them because I have everything still in front of me. <sighs> I can never like organization. Um, so we can start with the number one that is the sci-fi green. The sci-fi green looks like this. I, I think this and VR Neon are my absolute favorites from Kaleidos. What I love about this sci-fi green is that everything is... I think this is one of the best color stories they have. The two shimmers in this one is amazing. And it has these green things that I love. Like a little bit more dirty green. This shade is so grunge and cool. And the black in this palette is like pitch black it's an amazing black and there is nothing in this palette I don't like the only thing I think they could have done different is have more of a difference between these screens they are not the same but they are pretty similar I think it would be really cool if one of them was like a deep deep bluish green I think that would have been so so awesome but this palette, it looks amazing. The color story is really good. All the shadows in this are amazing. So, <laughs> that was my review on the sci-fi green. And if you want to test out green, I think that is a really, really good option. And you will have so much fun with this palette. With that palette. <laughs> that is at least my opinion. So, the next... One is the Cyber Bronze, and I think this is one of the more neutral palettes. The palette looks like this, and this red shade is one of my absolute favorite reds I have in my collection. And the silver is such an awesome silver shade. 
And I don't think there's anything I want to change in this either. I like the mattes. I like the shimmers. I think they go good together. It's nothing in this palette that I think I'm missing or that I want to switch out. Maybe it's just that I would like, if I could change one thing in this, it would be to have a really dark matte red. Maybe to switch out one of these two, but other than that, I think this palette is really, really good. And if you like this color story, buy it. So I think this, I would say this is the one of the more natural palettes, actually, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah. Then the Futurism 3 is the Astro Pink. I know that a lot of people really, really love this. I really like it too. Mine looks a little bit like the duochrome in it. It's like, have leaked. I think it's oils. It still perform really good and it doesn't smell funny or anything. So I'm going to keep using this even though it looks a little bit shabby. This palette has two really, really amazing shades for Kaleidos. It's this one, the duochrome. It's between, I don't know if I can show you, it's, maybe I could have tried to show you this. There you are. I don't know how to, like, okay. It is blue and purple. And the shadow, this one is so, so good. And this one is also really good. The thing that I think could made this palette better was if these two or one of these two was switched out. I really like both of these, but I don't think that both need to be in this palette. I would love like a more lighter pink. I think that would have been really, really cool. Like doing a super simple look down with a lighter pink and then this one. But other than that, this palette is super fun to play with. It has a really good black. It's not as amazing as the one in Sci-Fi Green, but it is a really, really good black. And then we come to the palette that I'm not going to talk so much about because this is discontinued and it is the VR Neon. I love this palette. This is amazing and I'm so sorry for you that didn't get this. The two shimmers in this is such an amazing shimmers and the green and the yellow is really, really light and pigmented and the orange and the red is amazing. So, and this color story is like the perfect color story. I wouldn't switch out a single thing in this. I could try to dupe this if you want to. Um, because it's not available anymore. I don't know how Kaleidos could you discontinue this palette because it's awesome. But this is so, so good. I can try to dupe it and that's all I want to say about that. Then we have Yushism 5, which is the Electro Turquoise. This palette, I don't know. I like it, <laughs> but it's not a palette I use that much. And I don't know about this brown. I think it's a good thing. It's a good brown. I wished it was something else. I got a comment when I did this. I'm so sorry I don't remember your name because I'm bad at it. That said that she wished it was a grey. And even though I don't like grey, that sounds awesome. And yeah, this palette I know that a lot of people love. It's good. There's nothing to complain about, but it's just that I don't pick this up and I don't really know why. I know that some people say like the brown, like throws them off. In my case, strangely enough, it is the orange. And I don't know because I love orange. But I don't know, but I really like this. And when I used it on Friday, it must have been, I really enjoyed it. So... Then we can go into the two newest palettes. So the first is Lunar Lavender. And here I also have like the same leak in this shimmer. 
this shimmer came smashed so I don't know if it is something up with that I actually really like this palette even though it is kind of purple and purple is not my favorite this shade out here is a really really nice it looks might pretty boring but as soon as you have it on your eyes it is amazing and this one I I know that people wasn't like that happy with this purple palette and thought it wasn't purple enough for me that is not a big purple eyeshadow lover it's perfect I think it's good I don't know because in the this one and the sashimi 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 oh my god there have the shimmers are duochromes and if you want them really intense you need to have them on a sticky base so it's not like the ins insane super amazing shimmer shadows that it is in the earlier palettes but it's nothing wrong with them but just so you know if you have like cypher green and want to buy this one just be aware of that and then the last one is sashimi city why do i have such a hard time and here is the same two both of my shimmers has leaked they came smashed i could press them together it was nothing to worry about and this palette is really neutral <laughs> and i they did it like this and luna lavender was the fresh fantasy collection so they kaleido said it's like for people that doesn't like insane colors and maybe like a little bit more neutral they wanted to do something for them as well and i totally get it i don't mind um i like both of these and i really like this actually and the same thing with this as in the lunar lavender even though maybe like this shade can see a little boring out in the pan i really like it on my eyes and i think if you have wanted to try kaleidos but you are a little bit afraid of color or you just don't use color i think this is a really good choice you can try their really good matte formula you have two really good duochromes so yeah i like this one as well and when I get like questions, which palette from Kaleidos do you think I should buy? I am just going to say buy the palette with the shades you want. If you <laughs> like all of the color stories, I would recommend Sci-Fi Green. It's just something about the palette. I don't know if it because it was the first palette from Kaleidos that I ever tried and I fall in love immediately. I don't know, but that is like my biggest recommendation sci-fi green it is an amazing palette and yeah do you know what this is actually all i am going to end this video now i am so happy for you that have said so nice things to me during this week it has been really really fun to post every day even though it has been a little bit hard and i don't know how some people can do this like all year round i have no idea and I think it was good for me to try this because I'm planning on doing a video each day in December. I, I, I don't know if I've changed my mind. I might have. But yeah, I really hope you liked this video and I really hope that you liked this week. And I am actually thinking about doing like more themed weeks and maybe not seven days. But like if I have... For example, um, Menagerie, I have five palettes from Menagerie and maybe do like a Menagerie week and post five videos that week. I don't know what you think about that. Do we have five palettes from Menagerie? Yeah, I do. <laughs> and just do like weeks with different brands. Please let me know if you want that. I, th I think this is fun and I want to use my collection more next year so i think that might be a good idea so please let me know if you want me to do that i have done a uvs place week before and a nabla week i can leave the two playlists up here and down in the description i think that is the only weeks i've done i also could do like a monochromatic week from colourpop and use i think i have seven monochromatic palettes orange 
yellow, pink, blue, green, mint and lilac. I don't know, but yeah. That was all for this video. Thank you so much for being here with me this week. It has been so fun. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!